so what have we done to improve diplomacy? Amongst other things, we wanted to reduce micromanagement and give the players more to do. Now this may sound like a bit of a contradiction, but if you remember playing in Victoria 2, there was a lot of waiting time and then you had to do some tasks repeatedly and repeatedly. What we wanted to do is in the expansion is to remove micromanagement and make the game feel more interactive. There are no ways to fight a war without the proper causes belly. And to manufacture the causes belly, uh, you need to have certain technologies that increase the speed. Um, there are also other things that modify the possibilities of you getting this causes belly quickly or not so quickly. For example, if you have free press, you have higher probabilities of either getting the, the reason for war quicker or later. Because free press, you can't really trust them to do what the government wants, of course. You can always trust the press. So, just because you're manufacturing a, a reason to war does not mean that that's hidden. Everyone that has anywhere interest in you or knows about you may have a chance of discovering that you're manufacturing a CB. Of course, you have the chance to see that other countries are trying to go to war with others. So you may notice that you're trying to manufacture, let's say you play France, you, you want to annex Algeria, and for that you're manufacturing a CB to attack them. And then you notice that Spain is doing the same, and then it becomes a race, and you can try to and there will be a conflict with Spain over these things. And all of this makes for a more intriguing, active gameplay when it comes to diplomacy. Also, we wanted to reduce micromanagement in diplomacy. Now we've talked quite a lot about adding features and stuff to do. So what have we done to reduce micromanagement? Well, one thing I'm going to tell you about today is the nice, nifty little thing that affects how you influence other countries. It used to be that when you reached the influence level of 100, you stopped influencing and those points were lost in space. But now instead, if you're influencing and you keep reach your cap, the points that you're supposed to spend into that country are not long you spend increasing your influence, but decreasing other countries' influence. So this means that you can keep going influencing a country and you don't have to go in there and obstruct the others but you'll automatically decrease their probabilities of influencing. This reduces micromanagement quite a lot. Finally for diplomacy, the third thing I will talk about in this dev diary is something we called map modes. There will be a new map mode in Victoria to House Divided where you can see on the map where your sphere is, who belongs to your sphere and also who belongs to other country spheres directly on the map, colored in those colors.